Today on CB, just Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Baker been dating for weeks as the romance sparks. Kim Kardashian snubs Donald Trump as she pays thanks for freedom of Chris Young. And lastly, Casey Price fears RV may be forcibly injected with drugs and locked up after meeting mom of section autistic lad. Kourtney Kardashian and Blink-182's drummer Travis Barker have reportedly seen their 10-year-old friendship become something more of a romance over the past couple of months. It seems the 41-year-old Keeping Up With The Kardashian star is set for a new ship to sail as it appears she's moving on from her ex, Scott Disick, as she is reported to be on holiday with the drummer in the Palm Springs where they have joined sister Kim Kardashian and other members of the reality star's family. It has been said that Courtney and Travis have known each other for quite a number of years and the recently sparked romance might lead to a pairing. According to a source, the two have been together for close to two months and the chemistry between them is quite a lot. The source also said they've hooked up a couple of times over the number of years but right now they are dating. Travis and Courtney did spark the rumors themselves in some type of way by posting similar pictures on social media. Over the years, there have been rumors of their friendship becoming something more of a romantic nature, but both of them have consistently shot that down. According to an insider, even Scott did not believe their friendship was just friendship as he continuously grills Courtney over it anytime he sees them in paired pictures together. It's a fight to say for me this is kind of unexpected because I'm part of the category of people who thought oh yes Courtney and Scott are about to make up and probably preparing for baby number four. But hey, if wishes were horses. On to the next, Kim Kardashian has distanced herself from former US President Donald Trump as she paid thanks to all those who helped her free Chris Young apart from the ex-president himself. Although she did work with the former US President Donald Trump on justice reform, the 40-year-old Keeping Up With The Kardashian star paid thanks to all that helped him free Chris Young from his prison sentence with the exception of Trump himself. Kim also reposted a video of Chris Young arriving at the airport after being released from prison on Instagram. He had been part of the inmates whose life sentence had been commuted by the president in a last-minute act of clemency before he left office. Kim captioned the video writing, Chris Young is free after more than a decade behind bars. Wow, my heart is so full. She also expressed how teary-eyed she got on hearing the news. Kim also explained that the judge who gave the verdict on Chris's case was forced to give him a life sentence due to guidelines which he did not agree with so much that he had to resign shortly afterwards. Judge Sharp was seen embracing the man he had previously convicted when they met again after Young was freed. Kim also added that what made the victory so sweet is that she had worked on the case for years with Chris's attorney Brittany K. Barnett. The reality star previously expressed a thanks to Trump and his administration after she was able to have some success on the justice system which also had a number of people released after petitioning the ex-president. Kim has always expressed an interest in law and the justice system and if this is the result of that, well I cannot say I am not happy. And lastly, Katie Price has fessed up on her fears for son RV after meeting a mom whose autistic son was sectioned. The reality star says she's troubled a disabled son may be forcibly injected with drugs following a chat with Isabel Garnett in the BBC documentary Katie Price, RV and Me. During the documentary, Katie discovers that RV could be sectioned under the Mental Health Act. In an interview, the 42-year-old shares that some of the stories she has heard on people who have a section has been quite awful. She furthered a research on the case of 15-year-old Matthew Garnett, who spent 15 months under section in the mental health inpatient unit. Sorry. And from her deductions, she believes her son, RV, might not do well being sectioned or being put in a room as she doesn't believe he'll be able to cope. In order to know more about Matthew, the reality star met with his mom, Isabel Garnett. Isabel gave an insight to what happens to parents and children who have been sectioned. For her, it made her feel like she had no right over her child and also it made her feel like her son had no right of his own. Knowing all this definitely constitutes part of the reason why Katie Price decides to put him in a residential college. 
In the documentary, Katie Price did open that in helping RV accomplish independent living, a couple of steps were taken, such as getting him his own house, which is opposite hers, with inbuilt cameras as well as a home carer. What we do for the ones we love. That's about it today, guys, on CBGs. Thank you so much for sticking around. Like always, let us know what you think in the comment section. You can join us on every of our social media platforms on Instagram at CameronBoy.tv, Facebook at CameronBoyOfficial, Twitter at CameronBoyTVNG, and also like and subscribe to our videos on YouTube. And you can as well follow me on my personal page on Instagram at Swatifi underscore O and I, same thing on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, guys.